and I was one of like the minority there. Mm. And it, it first time in my life, you know, where I've I've lived in an environment mm. where like I've got to be like, oh no, everyone's racist to me, and I, I had to put up with a lot of racism then. You mm. know what I mean? But I, I learned how to adapt, and I made friends, and like, you know, I was never ever saying anything racist. But this guy, he was black, who stole my CD, and uh, I had to say to other guys on the wing, I was like, look. I can't let him do that. He's stolen from me. Now I'm going to like front him and I'm going to fight him. But I, when he used to jump in, you know what I mean? Because mm. it's a black white thing. I said, which I'm not, it's not nothing to do with race. And they was like, but it might seem like that. Yeah. Maybe, but yeah. they all went, no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. You know, if you have a rock with him, that's just between you two. And I was like, all right, fair enough. And I went to his cell and like, after association, when they sort of locked you up and I, I told him, I was like, I'll be in your cell. I'll be waiting for you. And I was waiting there and I'm thinking, come on, hurry up, hurry up, where are you? How oh, fucking And the screw turned up. Oh. The screw turned up and he's like, Bean, out of there. It's not your cell. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm, I'm just waiting to get my tape back, Gov. And he went, no, you're not. Get out of there. And I was like, what? And as I walked out, this dude who stole my seed of my tape was like standing behind him. And I was like, you, you little yeah. grass, you know what I mean? What, scared? Did you get it back? No, of course I didn't. I never got it back. But then after that, they put me on report, which basically that every movement you make, they write it down in a book. And I was walking past the screws office one day and someone went, oh, you're on report. And I went, what? And they went, look. And I looked and there was a report book with my name on it. And I, I went to the prison officers. I was like, why am I on report? Yeah. And they went, because you started some trouble. And I was like, what? And they went, yeah, yeah, that's all we know. You started some trouble. And I was like, oh, I'll get it, yeah. Because I'm the minority in here, you know what I mean? I'm going to cause a race riot if I, like, have a fight with one black dude. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Race wasn't nothing to do with it. Yeah. But that's how the officers looked at it, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, if, if we protect you, that's, you know, yeah. we're, we're racist, basically. And it was like, oh, what? So, uh, yeah, I... I witnessed racism on the other side. Do you know what I mean? Mm. People were like calling me white boy, and mm. you know, and I like to accept that. Mm. It's just like, all right, yeah. Just I think whoever's the minority in a situation will often get overpowered, <coughs> don't they? Like what, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, way, but yeah, but it wasn't like you know, like I said, it was probably eighty, ninety percent black in there, but probably eighty, ninety percent of those were cool. You know what yeah. I mean? I got on with them, and it, it, there was no trouble. They, there was no race involved. You get this little like ten, twenty percent of people who will look at it like mm. we we've had it against us for years. We're going to give it against you. Yeah, you know? and mm. fair enough. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So, w are there any when you what have you in real life? What is in a cell? Because in a movie, there's there's nothing. There's a basin and a, and a mattress, yeah, and a, a bunk bed. I, you... I I couldn't answer that because things have changed so much now. I heard that you got like playstations and yeah. TVs and everything now. We didn't yeah. have anything like that. We didn't have a TV. We could have a radio. We could have a tape deck. Um, that was basically the only thing you was allowed in there. Was that not hard to? Because you had nothing. You had to live every day like that for a considerable amount of time. Did you not get dep de depressed? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you get depressed in normal life about things. That's what you? I mean. So I, I, I try and imagine if I was ever in prison. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd, I, I don't know how I, how I would do it. How, like when you, it's like any situation you're in, you'll just, yeah, learn to live and deal with that. You yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't matter how hard things get. You either give up or you just carry on. Like, yeah. There, you're, there just a, gonna, you're just going to carry on, isn't you? Yeah. There was a guy on TV. He was, um, he was captured by. It was, I think it was either ISIS or Al Qaeda or something like that. And he was tortured for months. And the uh, and the interviewer, she was like, "How did you survive?" And he just said, "How how was I not supposed to? Like, how can you not? Yeah, you know, you're stuck really in the situation. You're not just gonna you're not just gonna die unless you kill yourself. You're not just gonna die. So you will just get through it eventually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but going back to your question, because my cousin, uh, he works offshore now, but he was he was a screw. That's why I had the tour around Blunderston. What shocked me. Um, actually, it ties into both things. You're saying about being depressed and all the rest of it. He, what shocked me, he was like um, a lot of a lot of the inmates when we lock them up overnight. They they handed out um, crafting knives so that they could like carve their own chess pieces or uh, carve things out of wood, carve toys for their kids and that. And you think you're given actual like full of sharp crafting knives to to the inmates so they could either 
overnight, you know, do themselves in or whatever. But he reckoned they never did. Never no, did. Really? And obviously, the, there was also a level of trust and rapport built up with the ones that were given it. So if they ever fucked with it, then that would be it. They'd be at the bottom of the pile again. And then yeah. they'd have to rebuild that well, that up. Yeah. I, but, yeah. That reminded me, like, I made a, a replica magnum with a revolving barrel out of matchsticks while I was in prison. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like a twat. But <laughs> the, I stayed up all night making it, right? And when the screw opened my cell in the I morning, I gun. run out with this gun. I went, put your hands up like that. And he first he, he looked like horrified, you know what I mean? And then he <laughs> saw it was matches and he went, what, did you make that? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> and, and then about 20 minutes later, they go to my cell and they went, we've got to take that gun off you. And I was like, what? And they went, it's a replica gun. Yeah. You, you can't have that in prison. And I was like... Oh, you... I said, <laughs> can I send it out? I said, I, I've really like, and the, all I had right was a, a rap a tape, NWA, and on the cover, one of them's holding a gun at you. You know what I mean? All you can see is down this barrel. And from this picture, I managed to replicate this fucking great big revolver. You know what I mean? And I was like, look, can I at least hand it out to one of my family on a visit? And they was like, no, it's, it's getting destroyed. Oh. And you're going down the block. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I just love uh, arts and crafts. Yes. I just love that you made that and your brain went, it'll be hilarious if I run out and aim at him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did not Brilliant. work. No. Um, so we heard about like the first night you were in prison. What was it like coming out? Oh, amazing. Was it? Yeah. Did it feel like the world was not real? Because I remember the first time, I know it's not the same at all, but when, we went to, when I went to America as a kid for two weeks, and when I come back and saw my house in Norwich it didn't feel real I yeah. felt like no this is this was a dream like yeah, so I can't yeah. imagine what it would be like to actually be in prison yeah it was so weird <laughs> the weirdest Bit, comparison being able to just walk out mm. you know what I mean mm. just walk out of a door that was so strange because every door was locked and you had to get an officer to come and open the door to let you through and you know it was, you was only allowed out of your cell at certain mm. times most of the time it would just be locked you'd be behind, behind that door yeah so yeah when I first got out I remember thinking oh this is crazy. I can just walk out of any door I want. There's no one going to say, no, you're not allowed through there. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like, it's brilliant. And I, like, there's this thing as well. They reckon to you, when you leave the prison, never look back. They're like, if you look back, you'll end up coming back. Mm. And I was like, ha And I looked back and stuck my finger up and gave it. I was like, fuck <laughs> you. I will never be back. Wait, well, perhaps because by then I was 20 and I knew like, yeah, 21 that's the maximum there i'd probably end up in an adult prison next <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not for any like i'm th i'm gonna be better i'm gonna be nah. bigger it's just like i'll be in the bigger one down the road so <laughs> don't want to oh, go there oh, i was i was i was gonna be the best man in the world you know what I, mean? I was gonna behave and i have mm. i have honestly i've done a few you know things that really shouldn't be illegal like smoke weed and that mm. but, you know like, i haven't really committed any crimes and i've probably done a lot more good with my life than I have bad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Do do just quickly before we move off the topic, like you said about leaving and, and the doors on that, is it literally just you have your release date and when that date comes they go, See you then. Yeah. Is it like much, that? Pretty much, yeah. They, really? Yeah, they tell you what day you're getting out. Like if you get parole like I did, like you know, like you go and see this panel and they ask you questions, you know, it's, it's sort of like being at school. Yeah. You've got these free grown ups. Is that like mean? Shawshank Redemption where he keeps trying yeah. to get, yeah. Yeah, you go no, go I... for your parole and they, they say, why why should we give you parole then? And you tell them like, well, I think like I've changed. I think I'm a better person and, you know, I'm, I'm nothing like I was when I first come in and all that. And they go, oh, yeah, no, nah, we don't really think you've, you've changed that much yet. And then they, they always turn you away for your first one. But then depending how long they make it before your next one is like a little um, glimmer of hope. You know what I mean? If they say, we'll give you three months to your next one, you're like, yes, I've got a really good chance of getting that. Because if they say six months, you think that ain't far short of when I'm going to get out anyway. Yeah. Know? But if they say only three months, the three months will fly by. You know what I mean? You Fuck can... it, sorry, I, if someone said to me, I know it's completely different because I haven't experienced it and blah, I know you're coming from a perspective of you've been in there for X amount of time. Yeah. If someone went to me, you're going to prison for three months tomorrow. I'll be like, oh, fuck this. Uh, you say it'll fly by. I think yeah. it'd be the drag. It'd feel like three years. Uh, That's how I imagine how, it. How long were you, how long were you inside there? for? 
Um, just to put just under pers- three. Just under three. three. Years. So I guess in, in the in, in the grand scheme of things, to be there three years, ten percent, and then to say three months. Yeah, yeah. no, is it? <laughs> no, no. And, and the thing was, um, that would have been another year if I'd waited until my release date. Right. So yeah. when I did get pro, it was like then basically you can go home a year early. Oh, uh, yeah. Up to that point as well, you know, like um. I always knew what my release date was, and I never knew any earlier date than that, you know. Mm. So I always like mark on my calendar. Do you like, remember it? Or doing the old thing on the wall with a, the scratching? Yeah, yeah. No, do you, you don't do that. Do you do you remember your your date? No, nah. no, nah, really, <laughs> really, no. Nah, I honestly don't. I yeah. can't even remember what dates, yeah. what years I was in there. Before. I'm like, that. I can't remember the years of things or anything oh, like my, that. My memory is shot to bits now. Was though. it was it ever boring? Because like what, the prison, yeah, no, only because you say like you go out on block and you're playing table tennis, like maybe not always like fun. Even things, that's but... boring, mate. Have you played table tennis? <laughs> I fucking love table <laughs> tennis. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, like it's I said, all boring. You spend mate. fucking five minutes talking about the containers oh, yeah. in which you have your water. That's the so. reason why you learn table tennis because it's so fucking boring in there. You know what I mean? And playing pool, you got a fucking queue of people all waiting to play pool because everyone can play pool, but not everyone can play table tennis. So in the end, you're like. Do you have a game of table? You know what I mean? You get, yeah. you get good at it. You do start getting really good at it. Where you're standing sort of like 20 foot away from the table <laughs> yeah. and smashing it. You know? I, I, I like how we're speaking to a man that's just said he's been in prison for three years and Stevie's question was, is it ever boring? No, <laughs> no. Yeah. The yeah. only reason in, I asked... In, in the place where literally all you have is time. <laughs> yeah. like, no, that's... that's why I asked that because you have your little issue where if you're sat at home on your own, you need to get out of the house as quickly as you can because you get bored really quickly and easily. Oh. Right. But there, you're always surrounded by people. So it's like... That's what I'm wondering because I'm not often with friends. So I'm thinking, I could go to prison, I'll yeah. have friends. Well, was it lonely? But you're not really surrounded by friends in there. Yeah. You know?